Hey Virgo, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. We're about to hop into your reading. I had a request to do Virgo's reading. I need to do Virgo's reading anyway, it's overdue. But uh, please be sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if I resonate with you as a reader. My hair looks a little wild right now, y'all. I know that doesn't really matter, but <laughs> um, I popped up from a little nap and was like, all right, let's get Virgo's reading done. So, all right. Yes, like, share, comments. I enjoy reading the comments and subscribe. Okay, Virgo, we'll see what's happening right now in your love life with the person on your mind or whoever comes through on the reading. We'll see what's going on now and then we'll talk about what I see happening happening next in the connection, okay? Ooh, Ooh shark came out. Okay. <clears throat> Virgo. Virgo, can you show me Virgo's love interest? The person on Virgo's mind right now. All right, the crow. Hmm. The swan. So we've got air, water, and earth. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay. So, <clears throat> whoever this is, Virgo, let me turn this down a little bit. This person um, looks at you and sees a lot of possibilities in the connection with you. They feel as though this person values themselves a lot, whoever this is. They value themselves a lot. They value what they bring to the table. And they feel as though they have um, something valuable to add in your life, in this partnership, okay? Um, I don't know that you are speaking to who this is. They may have told you, Virgo, or even if they haven't told you, that they need to take some time for themselves to um, nurture themselves, okay? Um, especially with the deer energy. Lots of feminine energy here with your person. They may be uh, a masculine sign, so air or fire, but right now, your person's like in receiving mode, okay? So they are watching, waiting, listening. They're not doing a lot of acting right now, acting on what they think, what they feel. They're not doing that. They're observing, all right? I do get with this dear energy, there are some concerns here. This person has some concerns, maybe about you, Virgo, about the connection, okay? Um, they're concerned also about themselves, 
okay? They're a bit protective of themselves. If your person has children, they could be, um, for some reason, they're concerned about their children. Possibly within the connection with you, I'm not sure, okay? But yes, this is giving me someone who at this point in time, like this person knows their value. They feel like they know their value. They feel like they know their worth. And they want to know, should I share that with Virgo? Should I share how I feel with Virgo? Should I share what I have? with Virgo, okay? Crow is, is someone who is highly intuitive. It's my Gemini card and Yeah, your person is very, like, they're listening to their intuition. Like, your person, for me, would be, like, the high priestess right now. They're not just looking with their eyes. They're looking with their mind's eye. They're looking with how they feel, if that makes sense. Highly intelligent. Okay, crows are very smart. Show me Virgo in this connection, please, universe source. Show me Virgo in this connection. The dragonfly. Okay. The crocodile. The fish. So, if there's been some sort of disagreement with this person, Virgo, you're cooling off, okay? That's what I'm getting with you showing up as the crocodile. You're cooling off right now. <clears throat> you may be a bit lost in this connection with the fish energy. lacking clarity as to what is going on maybe again how this person feels because they're not really expressing it your person could be journaling they could be writing down even writing down what they would like to manifest with you with the swan but they're not expressing it yet okay they're not expressing it yet Cause they're almost reading you with the with the crow. And it could be because if they're coming up like the deer, let's take a look at this, right? Look how you're coming up with the crocodile. Predator, prey. So there is a part of their intuition that is telling them I would not go over there if I were you right now. <laughs> um, Virgo is likely to snap. May, Virgo may snap. Okay. With the dragonfly. There's hesitancy on your part. I feel like you're going back and forth a lot. Um, and this is someone who is trying to understand their own mind, okay? So you could be right now, Virgo, questioning, you know, how do I... 
How do I really feel about this connection? What's real? What's not real? Is that really how I feel? Is that really what I think? You're, you're questioning your own mind. That's what I'm getting. Okay. I think a part of you, if you are communicating with this person, Virgo, a part of you feels as though you need to be somewhat, um, you need to keep somewhat of a veil over the truth, okay? This is like my Pisces card. Um, I think you may be giving the illusion, Virgo, like, Like you're detached or you're, you're, the way that you even may look to this person is inconsistent or scattered or, you know, <clears throat> hold on. Here one minute, gone the next, okay? all over the place but emotionally I feel like you're very focused on this connection you're very focused on who this is Yeah, as I'm looking over at your energy, the runner came out. And that's what I was getting with the dragonfly. You may look like you're moving away almost and and I and like you're moving in different directions, but emotionally you're not with who this is. That's not what I'm getting. You may, but you may be trying to right now remove yourself from this connection, Virgo. Maybe you're trying to, maybe you feel as though you need to create some distance in order to get some more clarity in this connection, okay? It was almost like bingo. <laughs> yeah, that's almost like, yep. Okay, which is understandable. Sometimes you do need to do that. All right. Could also be the cross watcher saying Virgo is the runner right now. Okay, show me how the person on Virgo's mind, clarify how they're showing up. How's this person showing up in the connection with Virgo? Separation, okay. <laughs> um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of the future. That makes sense. You do have coffin and not enough. I kind of get the vibe, Virgo, like you right now. Like I see you kind of walking away from who this is. Like you've separated yourself from who this is because you're you're frustrated right now and there has been some sort of ending between you two i do get that that's why you have coffin here the beautiful part about this is it's very similar to the death card um is that endings bring new beginnings it's not death is not really death it's just a transition it's just a transformation of energy. So 
I don't know if you ended things or maybe your person has, you know, ended a cycle between you two. But, you know, to some degree, your person, what I'm, they see opportunity with the crow. Because this is like my ace of pentacles that the crow is sitting on. Your person is seeing opportunity here. Okay. Like, like alchemy. Yes, there's been some sort of ending here. And um, yes, that wasn't great. Death is never pretty. However, there is something really good that can potentially happen. Okay. I do think this person still sees opportunity with you, Virgo. I'm kind of getting to Virgo for your person. They, with them being the crow. Remember I said they, they at this point in time know their value or they feel like, you know, I add value. But they may have, you know, again, in this separate, in this separation, I'm hearing this Virgo, even if you separated from this person, in that separation, they have found value in themselves. They still find value within the connection. Okay. So this is like really positive. There is, there are some positive things that have come out of this, especially with your, your person here. Okay. Okay. And I feel like this crow, like they're sitting back and they're, they're seeing, but now with, you know, um, now that the dust has settled or the dust is settling, does Virgo see my value? Show me how Virgo comes up in the connection with who this is. The Grim Reaper. No, you may look now. <laughs> like I said, you may have been the one to end this, okay? The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life, okay? So yes, either for a lot of you, Virgo, it's it's almost like you you may with with the dragonfly remember i said you're kind of questioning what you think but your 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 thought process may be like the relationship is over right there are no second chances uh remember i said you could be behaving um in a detached way running away from this however what i get is that you're still open to seeing what this person does seeing what they have to say what they have to offer because this is my six of pentacles card you know you're not like overtly at all moving towards this not from what i'm getting up and not for the virgos that i'm truly connecting with but to some degree, you're still, um, you're still there. You're still involved in this, even if it's on an emotional level, okay? All right, show me, um, clarify Virgo's person. They got the 10 of wands. Virgo, um, at this point in time, I would say that this person, this just 
confirms exactly what I keep getting. Like this person still sees opportunity with you. I do feel like they, they have some understanding, like this is going to take a lot of work, but it's worth it. Um, I'm willing to bear some burden here to get it done. I think that the, whoever this is, Virgo, is still holding on to hope. They still have this mindset right now of like, I think we can do this, you know? You have the Seven of Cups. It's interesting because that's kind of my, my fish card, okay? So, excuse me. I get like, again, you are, like I said, still emotionally involved with this and you're not really quite sure like I think if I don't know Virgo right now it's like literally like up in the air on your end I think you need some more, you need more information here. You need more understanding, more clarity. I get the vibe from you, Virgo, like you really don't know what it is you want in this connection at this point in time. Yeah. Hold on. And that's a part of the issue. Remember I said kind of lost? That's like the seven of cups. It, like your energy is kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. And I think you don't like that because like energetically, I'm getting this feeling of like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that. And that's why I see you kind of like, remember I was getting you kind of removing yourself so that you could glain, glain, <laughs> gain clarity. Okay. I don't know, Virgo. With the runner and the seven of cups, this is also giving me the energy of someone who's like, I'm really not quite sure yet. I'm really not quite, you know, I, I, I haven't settled into what it is that um, I, I would like with this individual right now. Okay. That's what I'm getting. So, all right, please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. That was part one, Virgo. Give me a second, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, Virgo.
Okay. <laughs> I have like a bunch of messages that just came through. I'm like, uh, uh. I think you probably saw my facial expression like, all right. So let's see. Okay, that was part one. It's part one. This is what we get into part two. So we see what happens. Okay, wow. Mm. Butterfly, sunglasses. All right. Oh, gee. Woo, these cards flying out. Here we go. Can you show me how Virgo's person, personal Virgo's mind, how are they showing up next in the connection with Virgo? How is this person showing up next? And, oh, sunglasses is one of the cards that came out. Okay, sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Okay, um, so let's see. Show me how Virgo comes up next in this connection. Please, universe, source. Okay, ascending. Very nice. I love this card. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. All right, so Virgo. This can mean a whole bunch of things, but this is where we start getting into what I see happening next in this connection, okay? We're going to clarify this. I'm going to see how you all are showing up for each other, Virgo. You know, um, what you all are wanting next. How does this person want to show up for you, Virgo, next, okay? And overall, and what are they wanting the overall outcome to be with you too? Then I'm going to pull what outcome I get and the most important part, your advice. How should you be moving forward overall in your love life and in this connection in order to get the results that you're wanting, all right? So for those of you that feel like you can gain clarity, um, confirmation, as to how to move forward here. If you, if you feel like uh, the information I just listed will be helpful, click the link below for part two. In the comments, the top of the comments and in the description, okay, for Vimeo. And that's where we'll continue, okay? I'll see some of you over there on Vimeo Virgo. If this is where we part ways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching your reading. I really hope that the messages have helped you gain some clarity here, all right? And I'll see you all soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend or whenever you watch this reading. All right, peace.